All right, guys, welcome back. This time we're going to talk about what the tutorial calls friction surface. Uh, but this is really almost identical to sprinting. Uh, we're going to be controlling uh, the character's velocity based on what they are standing on. So instead of hitting um, the shift button or whatever to go faster, uh, what we are standing on will dictate how fast we are going or how slow we are going. Uh, this is just going to be pretty quick. Uh, just a standard component data uh, that we'll throw on one of our cubes and then we'll go through uh, looking up that component and applying it to our character. So I did part of this already and uh, it's just kind of the boilerplate component data. We have our uh, velocity factor. I'm calling it a speed pad instead of friction because it's not actually adjusting friction per se. Uh, then we're grabbing it and throwing it onto our component here in a new speed pad struct. All right, so the differences come in on our character aspect here. So we'll be using the component lookup uh, in the third person character update context. Now this is going to get called uh, in our system whenever we grab the character aspect. So here we are going to be putting a uh, read only public uh, component lookup of our speed pad here. And then we'll just call it speed pad lookup. And then here we'll get on the uh, on system create. This will get called in on the on system create of the system that this is currently in. And this will get our state, uh, get component lookup speed pad. And this is going to be set to true because it is going to be read only. And then here in our on system update, we are going to just make sure that our lookup is to date. So we'll update it with the reference of our state. All right. So now down in our aspect, what we'll want to do is go down to where uh, we are handling velocity. And if we are grounded uh, down below where we have our sprint, where do we put our sprint here? So after our sprint and then before the standard ground move interpolate, uh, we will put our speed pad stuff, which we'll just add some comments here. So here we will check the lookup from the context and then we'll get the character body round hit entity. So this is the thing that we are standing on. Get our speed pad component. And then all we do here is alter our velocity. So we're just going to multiply our velocity with our speed pad velocity. And that's basically it. So if our speed pad is set to something less than one, we slow down. If it's greater than one, we will speed up. So back in Unity, I create a little strip here and we'll add our speed pad off to it. We'll just make it 0.2 and there we go in sprinting. But yeah, that's um, using the speed pad. Uh, next time, I think we are going to do jump pad, which is basically going to be kind of the same thing, but we're going to be going upwards instead. So yeah, see you guys there.